All right, here we go. We're back again. It still says that this is the same session on my computer, but it's definitely not the same session on my on my Xbox. But nonetheless, this is the co-main event tonight. It's a two out of three falls extreme rules match. Byron, in, def in honor of Brandon Alexander, looks to take out Kenji Urai here. Quite a show this was in its entirety. So uh, when anyone and everyone that's watching gets the opportunity, please go and check out the previous six matches. The match before this was a 30-minute Ironman match between Jacob Wells and Justice Stone. And what a match that was, too. So we'll see how Kenji does in this two out of three falls. I mean, you got to remember, he has already defeated Byron X12 in a one-on-one -on -one match before. But this time, the stakes are higher. This is not just a normal match. This is a world title match. This is an extreme rules match. Two out of three falls. Something's got to give in this matchup. Sorry, I've been screaming my lungs off for two hours. I need to rest my voice a little bit here. Introducing the challenger from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Byron X. And introducing the champion from Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 252 pounds, he is the Ken Yuri. Kenji usually he hasn't been actually uh, managed on screen by Jacob Wells, but Wells usually talks for him. But I'm assuming the reason why he didn't accompany him to the ring tonight is because of that Iron Man match he just had. So you gotta wonder if that messes with Kenji's head a little bit. Going into this as he's immediately caught with that flatliner by Byron X12. Oh, nice backbreaker. Byron, he has quite a long list of accomplishments in VPW. Cruiserweight titles, world title, money in the bank, tag titles. He's got a lot going for him into this matchup. This will be a second world title win in VPW, so he really needs to win this match to boost up his resume. 
And not only that, but this match is in honor of Brandon Alexander, who has been, you know, targeted heavily by Kenji here. Beat him in a steel cage match at the last pay-per-view. And then also beat him on Relentless for the, for the world title match again. So tonight is Byron's chance to prove Kenji wrong. To say you aren't the best wrestler on Relentless. And he wants to show the world and VPW again why he's the cruiser. Uh, cruiser great, sorry. But uh, Kenji seems to have other plans in mind here as he kicks him in the gut. Wait a minute, what does he do? Oh, powerbomb on the apron. Fall away slam on the floor. Kenji, he's not the biggest wrestler, but what size he has, he uses to his advantage at every possibility. Getting back in the ring and on his own time. Staring down Byron as he gets in and cost him as he gets caught with that suplex into the ropes. Remember, two out of three falls, so that means both of these men have to get two wins in order to actually win the matchup. Kick to the gut. Kenji may be going up for that leg drop that he... Yes, he is. That's the same leg drop that he did to Brandon Alexander two times in a row to win that title match on Relentless a few weeks ago. And we do believe that that may be the reason why Brandon Alexander was concussed and possibly had a neck injury was due to that leg drop. Now, Brand, not Brandon, sorry, Byron looking to go under the ring for some lumber as he gets that baseball bat, completely whiffs it, but Kenji taking the bat away from him Oh, but Brant, son of a bitch, Byron says no, not allowing either one of them. Oh, my God! DDT on the bat and then Moonsault on top of that. Holy shit. Byron's out for blood and Kenji's out for revenge as he tosses him across the ring. Picking up the bat for himself. I think he wants him to see what he's got in mind. Missing with the swing. Byron taking the bat from him. Oh, baseball bat to the chin of Kenji. Taking the bat back from him. They're just taking it back from each other over and over again. Byron again just dropping it. Backbreaker by Kenji. Goes for the cover. One. Only a one. That DDT on the baseball bat was a gruesome sight to see. Knife edge chop, followed by the German suplex. And again, that backbreaker, very devastating. Up and over goes Byron, kicking out the knee. Sets him on the top. Death Valley driver. Looking to inflict more damage with that baseball bat. As he goes after the lower back and now the torso. Or the stomach, I should say. Oh, clotheslines him out of his boots there. Second one to follow up and a third. He's in the corner. Byron is in a dangerous spot as he could go for that muscle buster. Reversal by Byron with a boot to the face. Sending him to the other corner. Back elbow by Kenji. Oh, the elbow to the point of the elbow to the chest. Catches the boot. 
but Kenji not allowing him to get the upper hand, sending him over the top rope to the floor. Byron back up immediately, though. Reverses the strike, but a fist to the face stops him in his tracks. They're really focused on this baseball bat. Kenji went for a belly to belly of sorts, but Byron blocks it. Duck under. Kick to the side. Oh, they're both down. Byron just used what last bit of energy he had left there to knock him out for the moment. Both men crawling to get back up to the feet as Byron makes it up first. Through to the gut. Brain buster on the knee. No, into the, into the rear naked choke. But I think it was a rope break. Or not a rope break because it's an extreme rules match, but I think he was able to get out as soon as the as he hit the mat. Oh no. Back suplex by Kenji. Now going for a pin. One, two, oh, almost a three count. Byron sends him into the ropes. Flatliner off the off the rebound. Lifting that bat up again to strike him down. Oh my. Attacking the legs of Kenji. Oh, look at that. Straight to the face with that roundhouse. Boot to the gut. Attempted again. And he hits him with that calf kick or uh, spinning hook kick, whatever you want to call it. Brain buster by Kenji. Chop to the chest, knocks the wind out of him, but Byron is back at it as he sends him off the ropes. Flatliner again, narrowly missing that baseball bat. One, two. Byron doesn't know what to do. Both men exhausted. I mean, he's got a good idea with that baseball bat, and if he would stick to that plan, I think he would continue to dominate this match. Kenji back up to his feet, grabs the baseball bat for himself, completely whips it, but he hits the second one. Hop up. Golden Star Bomb. That could be it for the first fall. One, two, oh, kick out at two from Byron. Baseball bat back into play again. I want to see more than this baseball bat being used, but I also don't want to see anyone get hurt. Irish whip into the corner. Reversal by Kenji. Snapmare takedown by Kenji. Going elbow to the neck. Back up to his feet. Fireman carry. Death Valley driver again. Here we see Byron yet again going with the baseball bat. I mean, if it works, it works. And so far, it's not working. Kenji's tired of the baseball bat. He throws it down. Byron using that distraction to his advantage as he gets elbowed in the face for his troubles, though. Oh, reversal sends him to the outside, and he hits his head on the steps on the way down. Got wrenched. Suplex by Kenji on the floor. Sending him back in the ring. Kenji gets back in himself. He's playing it safe and staying inside the ring when possible. Yeah. 
Sends him into the corner. Byron. Oh, sliced bread. Cover. One, two, three. Kenji is no longer undefeated, I guess. He's got one fall against him. Technically, he still is as long as he wins this match, but in the context of this match, oh my God, on the baseball bat. In the context of this match, though, he is no longer undefeated. Byron is 1-0 in this match so far. If Kenji is able to tie it up, it would make it a very interesting final fall. Now Byron tired of the baseball bat. Oh, drops him stomach first on the bat as he gets that knee bar. Byron looks to submit Kenji with that knee bar, but Kenji able to get himself out of it. Boot to the gut. Again, he's going to drop him into that sleeper hold, I think. Kenji with a knee to the top of the head, though, not allowing it. Belly to belly, taking him over the head. Kenji. Throwing him to the outside, maybe looking for that power bomb on the apron again. That's what it seems like he's doing. Boot to the gut. On the apron a second time. Sending him back in. Picking him back up now. Goes for the grapple. Byron able to reverse it. Oh, nice running step up in Zaguri. Again with the baseball bat. Now he's softening up the legs so that he can go for that knee bar again later. Clothesline from hell. Byron catches him as he goes for the running attempt. Sends him in the corner. Reversal. Byron busted him open when he hit that corner. Tiger suplex. Bridges. One, two, three. We're all tied up. The next fall wins the match. Byron in a very bad situation as he almost gets hit with the bat. Oh, straight to the top of the head. Oh, catches him with the bat on the way down, but he still gets the enziguri. Off the ropes, big drop kick by Kenji. Byron setting himself in the corner to try to relieve, to get some sort of like resting in this match, because this has been almost nonstop since the start. Boot to the gut, we're gonna see that. No, we're not. Oh, but, oh, I was about to say, Byron got him. Oh, onto that baseball bat. Butterfly suplex. Kenji exhausted as Byron back up to his feet. It doesn't matter, Byron gets caught. No, 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 he gets behind. Turns him around. Snammer takedown. Oh no, Regal Plex on oh, the baseball bat! The baseball bat coming into play heavily in this matchup. Byron is doing this for Brandon Alexander. And he seems to be doing it very well. Punch to the face. Oh, there's the knee. He could win it. One, two, three. Byron is your winner. The new world champion. New world heavyweight champion crowd. Kenji Uri finally dethroned. No longer undefeated. Look at all the highlights of this matchup. Two out of three falls, Extreme Rules match. They only used a baseball bat, but they used it to their best advantage here with multiple drops on that bat. Here is your winner and new W, Byron X. 
Byron X12, your third ever world heavyweight champion for Relentless. This is a long time coming as he was signed right as soon as, like right off the first show he was signed. And he made his presence known, challenging Brandon Alexander. Only when Kenji beat him on Relentless did this become a Kenji world title run. And now Byron is your new world champion. Now our main event. With a, uh, I'll do a 25 minute time limit. The challenger, Joe Blade, taking on Adrian Black, the world champ. The VPW champion, Adrian Black, taking on former champion, Joe Blade. All right, we're going to try that one again.
Here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the professional championship. Joe Blade coming into this matchup, a highly decorated superstar. I mean, decorated in one title specifically, but nonetheless, he has quite the championship history in VPW with two VPW championships under his, I guess under his belt, if you will. Looking to make it three. And if he does, he is able to defeat Just Justice Stone in the rankings. And uh, he would only have to win the title one more time to tie up with Jacob Wells on four. Here we go, though, as Adrian Black, uh, per the stipulation of this match, is not allowed to use the Shining Wizard last shot knee strike. So we'll see how he fares without his very, uh, very, very useful finishers. In almost every match that he's had as champion or as TV champion, he was able to win the match via last shot knee strike to the face or the back of the head. So tonight is going to be a very hard fought match for him considering he can't use that strike in this matchup. Speaking of that TV title, though, Amber Reed following in the footsteps of Adrian Black of being completely dominant as the television champion. She could very well end up in a spot like Adrian was. From Long Island, New York, weighing in at 260 pounds, Joe Black. And introducing the champion from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 201 pounds. He is the, the future, Adrian Black. Main event. This should be good. Adrian immediately catches him with that head grapple, but Joe Blade, he's just too big and powerful to be grabbed by like that and drug across the ring. Adrian needs to out like outsmart him with the speed as he just did there. The quicker he moves, the better the chance of him getting some offense in on Joe Blade. And Blade using his size and strength to really knock down Adrian Black as much as he can. Don't let the size of Joe Blade fool you. He can move just as fast as anyone else. In the, in the lower divisions because he is trained to work as quickly as he can in a spot like this. He's wrestled guys like Brandon Alexander and Byron X-12 
so many times that you need to be as quick as they are to be able to sustain yourself in a division full of other wrestlers just like them. He's got a, a even though he's a, like I said, a very large man, he's got Lucha, Lucha background going for him so that he can, you know, keep the title around his waist if he was champ. And he's using his strength more than anything right now against Adrian Black, who is using his knees to his advantage. Black again with the knees, this time a jawbreaker. Backbreaker on the knee with a side Russian leg sweep to follow it up. Goes for a cover. Not even a one count there. Clark. Adrian Black gets caught with a boot to the face. I'd like to take a moment here on, on the live show here to uh, give a shout out to our partners, Ring the Bell Wrestling as uh, they just had an episode of Apex earlier on tonight where you can watch it and it was a really good episode. Joe Blade flexing his guns as he goes for the elbow drop. Adrian Black may not be uh, thinking this match through. He accepted the challenge of not being able to use that last shot, but it might be a bad choice on his part as Joe Blade could use almost anything in his repertoire and Adrian Black is now limited to what he can do in the ring. Big super kick. And then the German suplex to carry him over the top of his head, whatever. This is the boot to the face. See, this is what I was talking about. He's got some luchador inspiration. Joe with the spear rolling into the pin. One, two. Only a two count. Blade needs to do something bigger to win the matchup. And if I know Joe Blade, he's going to do exactly that as he sends him into the corner. We may be seeing that top rope powerbomb that he's been doing to win matches so frequently. Joe Blade coming off of a win against Demarcus Jackson on Uprising. Look at this powerbomb. Not going for a pin, though. Joe Blade is stopping him from getting anything going for himself. Boot to the gut, attempted swing around, arm drag. Joe Blade gets sent over the top rope with that knee strike. And Adrian just standing there waiting to see what he can do. And Joe Blade gets in the ring as Adrian decides to taunt. Up and over goes Adrian. Backstabber again. Really working on the, the back and face, I guess, of Joe Blade with the knees. Boot to the gut. Wait a minute, that's Joe Blade's finisher. Adrian Black just hit Joe Blade's finisher on him with that suplex into the powerbomb one. Oh, one count. 
Blade knows his own move, so of course he's gonna kick out at one. Wait a minute. I think he might be going for that last shot anyways. No, schoolboy into the DDT. One, two, kick out at two from Blade. Remember, th there was a 20 minute time limit here, or a 25 minute time limit. We're getting down on the time. We still got plenty of time to do this. Both men have plenty of time to win. But one of these men has to win this matchup if they want to prove themselves as a worthy champion or contender. But neither man is going to go down without a fight, clearly. Joe Blade gets caught with that arm drag again, this time on the floor. Big Hurricanrana onto the floor. You never see anyone go through the announce tables anymore, but I'm kind of glad that we don't because uh, that mean I want to be able to see the show that I'm watching right here. Picks him back up, but gets caught with a chop to the chest. Ends a Guri. And Joe Blade retreating to the outside, going for a breather as the cameraman follows. Joe Blade narrowly avoids the fucking super kick, but chops him back, reverses the calf kick. Will attempt no, but a knee to the face, blocking it. Super kick. Joe Blade into the corner, but not on the barricade, not allowing the satisfaction of getting a guardrail attack. Oh, no. Oh, knee to the top of the head. Count of seven. I do believe I set it to a 20 count. But either way, both men should get back in the ring as quickly as possible. As I say that, Adrian throws him back in the ring. Joe reverses and tosses him off. Taking a moment to taunt. Not a good idea. As he gets a hold of the head and neck and cranks on him. Blade goes for the strike, gets reverse boot to the gut, catches the spinning the spinning kick to the gut. Reversal goes after the leg, chopping him down. Oh, into the knee bar. Very, very, very smart how he went for the kicks to the leg. He hit all those kicks, and then he goes into a knee bar. He might have been watching a lot of the Byron match. Very wise of him to do that. And now he catches him with a barrage of strikes. And continuing the attack on the left leg of Blade. Goes for the boot, but gets caught with a clothesline. But Blade, oh, raking the eyes. That's not very wholesome. But oh, big brain buster by Blade. Adrian might be setting himself up for doom here as he gets face first in the corner. Blade. Wait, no, he turns him around. He's not going to go for that powerbomb, even though he probably should have. Springboard up. Oh, look at this. Head scissors. See, again, Joe Blade, he has the ability to do the high risk stuff, but also retain the power of that powerbomb. Not going for the pin after that. He picks him back up. Goes for a cutter. Adrian Black goes for a front face lock. Gets reversed. Snapmare takedown. Boot to the back. Joe Blade with a gut wrench suplex. Catching him on the ropes on the way down.
Snapmare takedown. Oh, knife edge chop and a kick to the chest. Goes for the boot, reversal, arm drag on the floor. Sending him back into the ring, not wanting to get the count out if it's not a 20. Backbreaker by Adrian, followed up by that Russian leg sweep yet again. One, two, kick out at two from Blade again. Pulling away from the grapple, but catches him. Back elbow to the head again, and now the backbreaker. Blade just stands over him and waits to catch his breath. Oh, back elbow misses. Code breaker. Blade gets on the ropes to try to, you know, catch his breath a little bit as Adrian sets him on the middle ropes. What is he going to do here? 619. Oh, big chop taking Joe Blade down. And he's going to go for that discus big boot. He could win the match with this boot. Oh, he knocks his head off. Go for the pin. Go for the pin. Adrian's not going for the pin. He could have had this match won if he just would have pinned him. Adrian Black is having second thoughts about what he's doing here. And I don't understand why he wouldn't go for the pin after a move like that. And you kick a man's head off, but you don't go for the pin. Oh, future shock, DDT. Cover, one, two. Blade able to kick out at two. Unbelievable. Blade stopping him in his tracks. Oh, big uppercut. Sling blade by Adrian. Drags him away from the ropes again to the center, stomping on the arm as he goes for the other arm. Dropping him on his shoulder. Again with the backbreaker, Russian leg sweep combo. What else can Adrian do? What else can Joe Blade do? at this point as he goes for the head crank again but Joe Blade this time he has it scouted he rec he recognizes the move he did it and see again there's Adrian this time having that move scouted but caught elbow to the knee sending him over the top rope to the floor Oh, execution on the floor. Oh, no, fighting into the corner. We got a really close camera shot there. I don't know where the cameraman is, but he's got a good angle. Count of five, I still don't know if this is a 20 count or not, but I really sincerely hope so. Seven. Count of seven. Adrian sends him back in the ring. Misses the enziguri to the back of the head. Joe Blade goes for the boot. Possibly looking for that superplex, well, suplex into the powerbomb again. There's the forearm strikes from Adrian again. Clothesline. Cover. One, two, kick out at two from Blade. Oh, Joe reverses knee to the face. 
This could be it for Adrian Black here. Through to the gut, suplex him up into the power bomb. Center of the ring. Wait a minute, he's not done yet. He should have been done. That he could have won the match there. Looking to do more damage as he's ringing the arm back and he's going to stomp on it. Adrian Black fighting as much as he can here as Joe Blade is refusing to back down. Kenji, not Kenji, sorry, Adrian crawling himself up the ropes. What the? Oh, he drops him into the Falcon Arrow. He did the deal. It's over. Not going for the pin, though. If he would have pinned him, it would have been over. Just chopping him back. No way. Joe Blade power bombs him almost on the rope. Adrian caught with a hammerlock, but back elbow to the face. Again, he catches up. Power bomb this time into the ropes. 100% on the rope there. Chop attempt. Joe Blade, he's trying to do anything he can to get the grapples. Adrian Black is just trying to survive with his life. Joe Blade, brain buster. Lifting him up again. Look at the strikes with that the taped up fist. Got wrench suplex ropes very much in use there. Spear by Blade gonna roll back into the pin. One, two, kick out at two. Adrian somehow still in this match. We got six minutes, well, basically seven minutes left in this match. Joe Blade is going to hit the finisher. Into the powerbomb. Again, not going for the pin. I don't know what his problem is. He's not wanting to pin after that finisher for some reason. Sling Blade by Black. Pin him. One, two... Taking his head off with that clothesline. Sets him on the shoulders. Dropping him on the top rope with a stun gun. So much is happening in this match. We have so little time in this match left. Wait a minute, Adrian hitting that suplex powerbomb just like Joe Blade. Drags him away from the ropes, he's gonna win using his own finisher against him. One, two, Joe Blade kicks out at two. How is this even possible? Reverses the strike, Re reverses the grapple. Hurricanrana. Joe Blade could be done for in this match. Future Shock. DDT. One, two. Oh my God, he kicked out. We have five minutes left on the clock. Somehow, Joe Blade is still kicking out. We could go to a time limit draw. Spear by Blade. Cover. One, two, three. With four minutes and 26 seconds left on the clock, 
the match is over. Joe Blade is your new world champion. Time Blade. world champion. Last stand 2020 was one hell of a night. Congratulations to all new champions, to all still remaining champions. Thank you for coming if you were here. Have a nice night. We'll see you on the next episode of Relentless and Uprising.